Hi kids, Miss Amy here. So, what are you doing today? You're stuck at home? Me too. But that's okay, because we can still have fun. And I have a craft that we can do together. You probably already have these supplies at home, like paper and scissors, a glue stick, a pencil, and a cup. That's all you need. Here's what we're gonna make today. Look at these cool flowers, they're 3D. There's a pinwheel flower and a flower bud. So, here's how we're gonna get started. We're gonna make the flower bud first. And all you do is cut out some circles. So, you're gonna take your scrap piece of paper and use your cup to draw some circles like this. How easy peasy is that? and cut out your circles and you'll have a bunch of these when you're done. So, once you have all your circles, you'll begin to fold them in half and once you have them all folded in half, you can make your flower bud. So, you can already see I got started here. I'm going to take my flower bud and one of my circles, I'm going to add just a little glue to the edge and I'm gonna stack up my flower petals like this, where all the edges are lined up. Uh, let me add one more, how about green? Okay, so one more time. I'm gonna put glue on the edge of the flower, of the fold, and I'm gonna put it on here like this. And now all I have is a big stack of flower petals. But look what happens when I open it up. <gasps> Isn't that neat? looks really cool. You could probably make that go all the way around and it's kind of like, almost looks like a beach ball or something. That's pretty neat. Okay, so that's my first flower. And then for the second flower, we are gonna make a pinwheel. And to do that, guess what you need? You need a bunch of circles like you already made for the flower bud. And guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna fold them in half. You're really good at that by now. So once you get your flower petals, fold it in half, you'll begin to glue them on um, a piece of paper like this. So I'm just going to take a flower petal and on one side I'm going to put, on one of the folded sides I'm going to put some glue and I'll stick it down on my paper and then I'm going to do another one, put some glue on and I'm going to stick it, this time when I stick it on I'm going to kind of like put it inside the other one just a little bit and that gives it the pinwheel effect. And I'm gonna keep going around just like that. All of my flower petals should face the same direction. That way the flower turns out looking like a pinwheel in the end and it's really pretty. Okay, so just a couple more flowers. It's very simple, but it looks really neat in the end. Okay, and one more. was that? On the first example I showed you, I took a couple of pipe cleaners and I made stems, which was fun. And then I thought, what if I don't have pr pretty, pretty bright, colorful paper? Well, I tried it using newspaper. <laughs> and look how cool this looks. I just used a marker to make the flower stems and it came out really pretty. So I hope you have fun making these flower crafts. Let me know what you think. And I just wanted to read to you the scripture this reminded me of. This is from Matthew chapter six, and it says, see the wild flowers grow. They don't work or make clothing, but here's what I tell you, not even Solomon in all of his royal robes was dressed like one of these flowers. If that is how God dresses the wild grass, won't he dress you even better? Your faith is so small. After all, the grass is here only today. Tomorrow it is thrown into the fire. So don't worry. Don't say, what will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear? People who are ungodly run after all of those things. But your Father who is in heaven knows you need them. But put God's kingdom first. Do what he wants you to do. Then all those things will be given to you. So. Don't worry about tomorrow. 
Tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So, as you make your flowers, remember that God takes care of you and he knows everything you need. See you next time. Bye.